about frugal. You should be frugal, not cheap, okay? Being a frugal uh, is to save money at your own expense, like eating out less. Being cheap is uh, trying to save money at someone's, uh, someone else's expense, like not tipping when you do eat out or not even sharing uh, uh, share and pay the bill, okay? So uh, I will be uh, giving uh, you a tip for uh, to have a minimalist living. So I'm giving a simple frugal living tips for minimalist. Okay. Uh, it wasn't too long ago that I began my uh, journey of uh, minimalist living and, and learning how to change my ways uh, when it comes to consuming and, and buying things was a huge part of that. I uh, realized over time that. You don't have to sacrifice much to start living more frugally. It's all about deciding uh, what's uh, important to spend uh, your money on, uh, such as your need and what you should, what you shouldn't waste your money on. Now, while I'm not on the extremely frugal person, I do enjoy a nice meal out every week or an enjoyable weekend getaway. I do like being uh, able to uh, be. Uh, conscious about my spending habits and where my money is going. I tend to be uh, intentional uh, about this topic and I ask myself before I purchase something whether it, uh, it is serving me a good purpose or is it something I might be regrets purchasing in the future uh, like now, like before. Uh, I used to buy a lot of sales uh, t-shirts, uh, sales shoes, and a lot of uh, discount, discounted uh, in the supermarket or malls. Because when you see, uh, uh, if they are having a promotion, then you see, wow, and then you keep on buying, keep on buying, until your closet or your shoe rack or your cabinets are filled up with all of your things that you bought. So it's going to uh, accumulate and accumulate, and sometimes you are not wearing it. because. Uh, you cannot wear dress five times a day or you cannot wear shoes at the same time. So sometimes it's what are your favorite things or what are your favorite dress to wear. You, should, you just keep on wearing and you forget all about the things that you bought or you buy in the supermarket or uh, in the department store during the sales, okay? So I, uh, with all of uh, that being said, I'd like, uh, like to provide you with some simple frugal living tips that you can apply it to your daily life and beyond. So I'm giving a fifth in frugal uh, living tips for minimalist. So the first one is buy quality over quantity. Buying uh, a quality products will uh, actually save us money in the long term because they tend to last longer. When you buy cheap material, it uh, will break or tear easily and we would have to waste money replacing that item. Uh, Number two is shop off-season. Shop uh, those end-of-the-season sales in stock up on some fashionable items for the next year. Number three, I love using honey. It's uh, automatically applied coupons to popular stores and save me some box of cents, okay? Number three is uh, stop using a credit card. You don't want to find yourself wasting money or interest or late, uh, or the late charges. Try to leave your credit card at home to prevent yourself from needing things you might not even need. Use it for emergency money. So, because sometimes if you have the credit card, you just keep on swiping and swiping. It's, not, it's like an unlimited money you have. But in the end of the month, you need to pay all those bills, okay? Make your own natural product. Did you know that you can make your own shampoo, conditioner, soaps, and more? Discover how to make your own natural product from the comfort of your home to avoid uh, buying them in the stores. Uh, this one is quiet. Uh, you need to be uh, more on uh, creativity in doing this. Uh, actually, you, you can make it uh, your own so that you, if you have some leftover soap, you can uh, mix it up together and you, you can make it a new one. Okay, I already tried last time. Uh, I have a lot of uh, uh, leftover soap from small and then I boiled it. Yeah, and it, and it become uh, uh, one whole soap again, okay? And uh, declutter, uh, number five is declutter and sell items. 
start a home decluttering project and resell any item you don't use anymore. They are just sitting there uh, taking up space, so why not try uh, to sell if someone else makes sure of them. Okay, so this one basically is uh, it's one of the trend now, the online selling. So because of the idea, like what I said last time, that if you keep on buying and buying and buying those things, it will be just accumulating in your cabinets and things. You cannot, some, you cannot use it and some because of your because of the favorite items or the favorite dresses that you are keep on wearing. So this is one of the trend to do an online selling. Okay. Uh, number six is get into gardening. Gardening is a great way to supply your own produce. Uh, start by buying seeds and watching some uh, tutorials, creating your own home garden. Okay, that one is one of my project. I small garden in front of the house so uh, I, will, I, I need to learn some of, uh, basic things of gardening as well so batch cooking so this one basically uh, this one is uh, very good for uh, for the bachelor's life the batch cooking create a wholesome and a healthy meal plans for the week and start prepping this will prevent you from spending money or going out to eat or ordering food to go so Sometimes if, uh, it's like uh, you are going to cook uh, one bowl, uh, for example, I'm going to share uh, cooking adobo or cooking out uh, of one batch of cardinella and then you keep, uh, then you will be portioning it, uh, then you will freeze it, and then if you are hungry, so you just take it out from the freezer, microwave it, and then you have your own and then you have your rice. It's done, so it's, uh, it's uh, from that you can save the money and you can save time so it's uh, especially that one for the bachelor's life okay number eight is drive less okay some money on gas and car maintenance by uh, by teaming up with other to carpool to work or other activities you get to spend more time with the people in your life by driving to places together okay so yeah now now like now i I keep on driving my motorbike, sometimes car, and now I used to uh, ride MRT, and I can save my energy, I can save some money for the gas, and I can, uh, yeah, uh, yes, a big savings for me as well, uh, riding in, 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 in MRT, because when I, and when I also drive my motorbike, I need to pay, uh, I need to pay my gasoline as well, I need to pay my uh, car park or the motorbike parking, so uh, and then I, I calculate my expense. Uh, I, I can save more if I, I if I will be riding it ever again. Less stress. Uh, yeah, and no traffic. Yeah, yeah, more easy. So we make our life easy, not to be complicated. Okay. Learn handyman skills. Okay. Number nine is learn handyman skills. We can learn a lot online today simply by watching YouTube and. Uh, some tutorials learn how to fix things around your home to avoid having to hire someone to do it for you okay like me myself I know how to do some slide or basic troubleshooting in the house like fixing my own floors and uh, changing my light bulbs doing some minor electricity uh, changing uh, my motorbike some uh, basic parts uh, like screws I, I just need to try that because if you if I'm going to uh, mechanic I uh, for sure they will be charging me a lot and especially I'm a foreigner here if you speak English here uh, well we have the value of uh, this doing it's going up okay cancel number 10 is cancel your cable with Netflix and YouTube there is a range of options available you don't require cable uh, save yourself the extra expense by canceling your cable subscription. As for me, I just canceled my cable subscription because I have already my YouTube channel and I have uh, some sites that I can watch. Yeah, because I am also paying my, my uh, internet, so yeah, this, I can save some time or, or I can save some bucks. Okay, number 11 is reuse your glass water, your glass water bottle. The reason I point out is uh, the glass water bottle is to avoid contributing to a plastic and it's sometimes you can refill over and over again. So you can uh, have a good recommendation. A 
Okay? Number 12 is make a grocery list. Before you decide to go to a supermarket, uh, always make a list first. This will not only save your time but also prevent impulse buying of what uh, that will just go to waste. Okay? Like, uh, for example, you, you go to a grocery, so you need to have your checklist. So what? Are the, the checklist is the only thing that you're going to buy, so don't buy something that out of the checklist. If not, you going to break your budget. Okay. Uh, number thirteen is do your own nails. Uh, okay, this one for ladies. Okay, for the girls that who love to make their nails uh, colorful, decorative nails. Stop wasting your money on manicures and pedicures, and start doing your own nails at home. You could always treat yourself to a professional manicure and on occasions and appreciate it more so uh, if you're just uh, having some simple days or you're not going to any uh, uh, parties you just, or yeah, you just fix your own nails and fix your own nails. Like me, I'm doing my own uh, haircut which I always shave, shave it every day. So last time when I um, uh, keep on going to the barbershop at least I uh, spent 50 rupees for this. So now for free. I can do it by myself. I'm shaving it by myself, okay? Okay, uh, number 14 is build an emergency fund. Emergency are uh, unexpected and often people find themselves in a lot of financial troubles when faced with wild building. An emergency fund will help you to feel safe and secure financially. Okay, this one is, I have a lot of experience with this. Uh, some, they don't have this uh, kind of uh, emergency fund, so when the time Crisis arise, they keep, uh, yeah, they are borrowing money or they having a loan because they don't have some savings. Uh, they just spend, spend. They don't think about the emergency fund. So this is also an emergency. Uh, this is also important to have an emergency fund. We don't know when will be the emergency come up or rise up. Okay. Number fifteen is shop second hand instead of uh, always buying product or cloth shop second hand or, or at local thrift stores for the items you need and save money, okay? Shop second hand, yes, I used to do it especially when I was in college. I used to shop in uh, Bang Bang, uh, where, where we call it the Ubay Ubay or the UK UK, they call it. So actually, uh, some some of the dress in the, you know, the second hand shop are, yeah, it's for me, it's awesome. And for me, I'm not a branded type of person. I like to wear something like with a good print, with a good color, and a good quality sometimes. Yeah, because for me, yeah, as long as it's a good dress and you know how to carry it and you know how to handle yourself, it's, it's gonna be okay. So I hope you are able to apply these 15 frugal living tips to your daily life. Uh, what are some uh, frugal uh, living tips that you need buy? So share in and the comments below. Please follow my uh, my YouTube channel at Sneaky Punk. Uh, follow my Instagram at Sneaky Punk. Uh, Mr. Punk is sneaky. Uh, sneaky means a glimpse of everything. So I will be catching you again and we will be going to glimpse something uh, uh, interesting. Or maybe you want, you want to share what are the topics that uh, you want me to share. And yes, come on, then we can, we can talk about it. Right? Nice and lovely. Yeah.